Have you ever found yourself in the middle of lovemaking, starting to think about the bills you have to pay, the groceries you're going to buy, the contract you have to sign, the co-worker you have to deal with, whatever that is, basically just being stuck in your head, thinking, and not so much enjoying the moment. Well, if that has ever happened to you, then you know what I'm talking about. And this video is going to help you to figure out how to start thinking and have your mind go spinning crazy, crazy in a loop and start to get out of your head and enjoy your body more during intimacy. I am Celine Remy, the Intimacy Angel, and I am here to help you bring your sexy back in life. How you do one thing is basically how you do everything. And most people don't really think about it that way. They're like, well, this is what I do when I'm in the bedroom. This is what I do when I'm outside of the bedroom. But here's the thing. The way you behave, the way you act outside of the bedroom, you do the same when you're inside of the bedroom. So how are you going through your day? Are you really always keeping yourself busy, constantly tending to fires, doing things and in this like reaction mode? Or are you taking the time sometime to unwind, to melt into the present moment, to just feel, to just be? So if you find yourself constantly running and keeping yourself busy, then your first step is to start to slow down a little bit and slowing down just to, to pay attention more. Pay attention to what you're doing, pay attention to what's going on, but slowing down will help you to start to bring your nervous system to a place where it feels a little bit more calm and that it starts to get used to not always be like up here constantly buzzing, 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 but also start to feel and get more into the body. A beautiful practice to try is to take a few breaths and rather than focusing on your head, start to feel your breath and then imagine that you are incorporating your heart into the breath and you can start to feel your heart softening, opening up. You can also focus on an elevated emotion of joy, gratitude, love, anything that inspires you that feels like it takes you into an elevated mood and state and as you breathe in, in, feel your heart opening and breathe out feel your heart just really be into that practice melting and opening up if you do that several times a day it will help to create more heart and brain coherence it will help to slow down your brain waves and to just give your body a chance to relax more so that when you get into the bedroom you're not coming from a place of being so excited and in, in constant arousal, but you are able to shift into this place that's a little bit more um, connected and just slowed down a bit. So that's a practice you do multiple times a day, just a couple minutes at a time, two, three, four minutes. You don't have to do it for long, but it's better to do it every day just for a few minutes and then trying to sit there for a half hour and do it once a week because through repetition is how you're going to teach your body that it's okay and you're starting to switch putting all of your attention from your head into your heart. Now, what can you do once you are in the bedroom? So this is the practice outside of the bedroom that I just give you. But what can you do once you're in? So let's say you're in the middle of lovemaking and then you catch yourself. You are in your head. You're having thoughts. You are probably in the future or maybe in the past, but you're just not in the moment. So number one is awareness. Okay, don't beat yourself up. Just be like, here we go. I'm lost again. Number two is to start to tune in to your body sensations. Because when we make love, we have all of these sensations that are happening. So focus on what you're feeling. What are the sensations? And maybe you're feeling some tingling in certain body parts, some heat, some warmth. Maybe there's some coldness somewhere. Like what are the, the, the temperature shift, the sensation? Is your lover touching you a certain way? Like pay attention to that. Number two, pay attention to your breath. So it will become easier because you've already started to pay attention to your breath throughout the day. And now you're doing the same practice in bringing it into the bedroom. So as you're making love, feel the sensations, 
Tune in to your breath and allow your breath to move in deeper, whether it's in your heart space or going all the way down into your belly or even all the way down into your genitals. Because if you are making love, what if you could just breathe through your entire body, breathe into your lover and share that breath together? So if you do this, it will help you to shift. You will focus on what's going on. You will be more present. And the more you start to feel and connect with what's going on, the less you're going to be in the past or future. But it is a practice that is a moment to moment practice. It is a practice that you might have to do 50 times during lovemaking. Just because you did it once is not enough. We have like 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day. So most people are used to firing so many thoughts. So you just have to be vigilant and be constantly paying attention, working at it. Be like, here's the thought, back to the body, back to the breath. And here we go. And then you can let go for a few minutes and then you're noticing you in your head and then you come back and do the same process over and over. With time, the amount of time that you're able to stay in that zone of being relaxed without having to think will start to uh, lengthen and increase and it will become easier. But it does require a lot of willpower. But now that you know what to do and how to do it, give it a try because when you're present with your lover, in lovemaking and you're not stuck in your head, everything gets magnified. Everything feels better. The sensations, your pleasure and the orgasms, the connection you share with your partner, all of it. So it's worth the effort. I hope today's video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.